Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is it. Yeah? Is the mic on or? Yeah, the mic's on, you're just not talking. <laughs> <laughs> Your weight begins with a two, eat. I see dead people. I need dead people. Lord, pretty flock of nailing kiss the rain. All hail the king. Long live ASAP. Put that on everything. What's up, guys? Uh, we're out here, Toronto, the six. We just killed heat, which is cool. So it feels good to be a Torontonian for once. We just killed our grind. It's like 12:30. I don't even have a watch on what I'm doing. <laughs> we're gonna go out, we're gonna kill it, we're gonna meet up with our boy KJ, get some heavy lifting in, but you guys are gonna be able to chill with us today, and this is Shredded Strength episode five. So, as you guys can see, we just sent out our little newsletter. We got uh, we have a giveaway going, we'll talk about that. There's some other stuff, and here's some updated coaching materials. So if you guys are on our newsletter, get on here. There's also some discount codes, some other fun. You guys can join our newsletter by just going to our website, www.clossfitness.com, and then it'll prompt you right away. 5K giveaway, you guys can win a ton of stuff. Link down in the description, enter. There's multiple ways to enter. You guys should be fired up for this. Let's go. What? Oh, you're filming? Yeah. Is it actually filming? Yeah. Oh, that's convenient. I was just going to say we should film because look. That's 8-4. And we're going all the way down with the Fitbit. We're going to take our steps and get started, get the legs moving. We're going to go get a monster. Let's go. All right, so this floor, this is the place we come to work. This is part of my school. This is called the beach. It's pretty funky. Uh, we like to hang out here sometimes. So yeah, there's going to be like water and then all these moss seeds. So it actually looks like you're hanging out on the beach. Down there you can see it's blue. Yeah, you get all this nice sun. It's a cool place. So in winter, when you can't actually chill on the beach. Which is pretty much all the time in Canada. Considering it is May Well, yesterday six, it was like- it was, It's May 16th today, and uh, it was snowing yesterday. Yeah. So May 15th, we got some snow. Ridiculous. Be happy, take the stairs. Welcome to our city. Hey, yo, are we serious? Oh, what is that? Two for six bucks? This is the big one. Oh, dang. Yo, so are we allowed to get this? Is this, uh, fitness people never get these. Usually you just get these. Yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna go with the sugar. Uh, it's not gonna kill us to do it once in a while. 190 calories, pretty much all comprised of sugar, but make it work we're just about to lift heavy so we'll use it to our advantage we don't do this every day i actually have very low sugar so this this is a very odd change for me and kyle but we're going to enjoy it and heck the real ones are pretty good this is kyle's first time trying a real mod so that's how you know he's a true fitness youtuber how does this even open it twists twist it take the sticker off yeah no twist it oh wow Ooh. This is the luxury one. This is the other side of life. Wow, that's cool. Try it. That's nice, good. Eh? That's good. That's what an energy drink's supposed to taste like. The other ones are very like carbon watery. All right, homies. So I'm gonna get into this topic because we're waiting on our buddy, and this is something to do. We're outside our gym. We're gonna talk about why fitness ruined my life. Well, it didn't ruin my life. Maybe it has in the past. I've had a very interesting dynamic relationship with it, as has Kyle. And a guy made a video on this and he talked about how it had its ups and downs, but he focused more on the negative. So I kinda wanna give my two cents. So I've been lifting for almost six years now. I've had a very interesting relationship with it. I've competed physique, I've just tried to look good. I've been a bro, I've done powerlifting. I've, I've been all over and I feel I've been considered a mature lifter at this point. And what I will say is fitness can easily ruin your life if it's something in addition to your life. What you need to do is internalize it and effectively make it a part of your life without focusing on it. If you dwell on fitness and make it your all and it's always there, it will guilt you, it will bring you down, it will make you feel like garbage, especially as you become more elite. 
It's very easy to hop on Instagram, compare yourself to people, feel like garbage, be upset you're not getting enough likes, and just end up almost hating yourself for not being some exceptional thing that you n might not be able to be. It's very normal to go out eat a lot, mess up, and feel like garbage, but you can't let yourself harp on it. You need to learn how to be realistic in fitness, and over time you'll learn how to do that and it won't ruin your life, but you need to make sure you're doing things properly, engaging them effectively. Fitness will ruin your life if you do this, so what I mean, what I'm talking about here is if you go out and after you think, oh crap, I messed up, or oh no, I gotta do this proactively, instead if you can just learn to gauge it and think of it in the long term, don't think day to day, Think yearly, think long picture. Will going out one day destroy it? No, but do you want to go in and binge just for the heck of it? Not necessarily, even myself, I've dropped my calories significantly because I've realized I don't need that much food. I was eating food just for fun and just because it was something to do and I felt I had to, but now I've learned to really enjoy food and I've wanted to be healthy and I've wanted to be stronger, I've wanted to be more athletic, I've wanted to work on my cardio. I'm not doing it for anyone else, I'm doing it for myself, I feel better. It's just bringing me up instead of bringing me down and that's what you need to do. Kyle's gonna give you some tips for that. So one of the biggest things that has ruined my life within fitness, at least not now, in the past couple years was when I was trying to do a clean eating epidemic, what I did was I would eat broccoli, chicken, rice, I wouldn't enjoy my food and then when I would eat a chocolate bar then I would be like, oh dang, I need to go spend half an hour on the treadmill to burn those calories. So that was just an extremely unhealthy relationship with food. I found myself in the gym a lot more than I needed to and it really threw me off, kind of made me feeling bad. There's also one more thing that I'm going to touch on, I'm going to try to keep this a little bit shorter and not blabber, is comparing people, comparing yourself to people. So the amount of times I hear everyone comparing themselves like, oh well he looks better than me and he lifts more than me, just honestly guys, fitness is supposed to be you versus you. Um, even their friends. Yeah, right? even yeah, even their friends. Um, Trying to be I, better than someone that they can't be because like, of genetics and Yeah, my goal structure. is to be as strong as physically you know, as good, as physically strong and um, and look as good as I can in the gym. But if I were to stand there and dwell on the fact that Josh can squat 100 pounds more than me, I probably would not enjoy the fitness atmosphere and, um, and reach my goals properly. At the end of the day, guys, fitness is a lifestyle. What you should remember is you want to make it fit. Don't let it take over your life. Don't lose control and let's make those gains. Love you guys. All right, now on a less intense note, you ready to kill it? I'm ready, let's Hopefully wait. Hopefully buddy gets here yeah. soon so we don't get that Monday night rush. <laughs> Plug which you're not getting sponsored for? No, not shameless plug. This is my EHP BCAAs. Oh. To fuel my muscles effectively during my workout. This water bottle is from Walmart. <laughs> oh, wait, what's your code for that uh, BCAA stuff? Colossus 10 plus KJ Heart. Know someone's jacked <laughs> and you see their tricep through their long sleeve shirt. What are you damn? Baby, upgrading always, let's go. Mike, Mike, Mike. 526 PR. <laughs> we we added an extra clip. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
Pull through, pull through. Nice. All right, we killed it. We hit our 1RM max for the pause. So we tried to keep a little in the tank. I went a little bit heavier than I maybe should have. I killed it, I was a grinder, but I'm happy. It's about 93% of my true PR. It's pretty dope. So what we do after this is we're pretty fatigued. We do some backup sets. You can either do five sets of three or three sets of five with 80%. And we're just hamming it out and then we'll move on. One of my favorite things about Conjugate is you're always hitting some new PRs, you're doing it with bands, you're doing it with the deficits, you're always adding in something different. Conjugate means change, you're not just constantly doing a deadlift, you're, tr you're taking the deadlift and you're hitting it in different ways, um, from the bottom, from the top, everything, and it's going to really help you hit that one rep max in competition. How are you feeling, bro? How's are they? I'm feeling alright. I've been here a while, I'm tired. Uh, yeah, we had it. We hit it hard, that was a lot. You going to say more? It's <laughs> Yo, KJ, how was your first time at Fortis? Bro, honestly, man, it was real good. Yeah? Loved it. It's a good gym. It's a beauty gym, good man. Good equipment. Good people. The man, Sean Kelly, was telling me that as soon as you walk out of the gym, we've got a nice little tanning place. We've got two lawn chairs to hang out. Here's the view once you walk outside the gym. It's like... Dang. Look at that scene tower. Buddy, couldn't ask for a better place to eat. You just got some pasta, hot sauce, vegetables, chicken. That's all you need. You don't even need sauce. <laughs> what are you munching on? Cliff bar. Yeah. That's it. KJ's got the crunch? Yeah. I've got the Same classic. Same shit, no? Got the classic Cliff bar. What kind is this? Chocolate almond fudge? White almond, baby. Big man. Nice Good shit, bro. GHP. Yo, so wrap it up, bro. The day's done. I can honestly tell you guys, um, and I'm probably gonna speak for Josh as well, this is definitely the best I've ever been feeling um, when it comes to strength, when it comes to aesthetics, when it comes to being functional. Right now, strength is going up, losing a tiny bit of weight. Conjugate is going extremely well, and it's really taking the fear out of PRs. And I'm just super excited. Five weeks, guys. Shredded strength. Let's go. Thanks for watching. That Peace. comp's coming up, bro. Put up or shut up. Pre-workout. You've heard from a friend from a friend who knows a guy who knows a guy that pre-workout is the thing to have to get your bench to 300. You've heard it. People have... Yeah, they're still here. You want to tell them to go or should they just stay? No, you guys can stay. Yeah. Check out this little Patreon thing. What's up guys? If you're still watching at this point, you're clearly premium members of the Colossus Army and we appreciate you so much. If you guys appreciate what we do and want to have a pivotal role in supporting and bettering us and helping us help other people, you guys can come over here to our Patreon and help donate. There's a monthly donation to help us grow with different pledge levels with different rewards where you guys can actually get rewards for pledging. And then the beauty of this is this helps us effectively make better videos, get better content and produce improve production quality all through throughout. Thank you so much. Uh, any donation would help so much. If not, just keep liking, subscribing, and being awesome. Thanks. Yo, you killed that, bro. Yeah. Good stuff. Ow. Ow. That hurt me, dude. That hurt. <laughs> okay, let's go to the gym.